This is such an amazing problem as it involves inverse trigonometry and a long and scary looking sum. But later you will find out that the problem is actually based on a simple cancellation trick, also known as telescoping. First we have this fraction. Then we take the tangent inverse of this fraction. Then we sum all these tangent inverse values from n equals 1 to n equals 50. Finally, we take the tangent of this entire sum. So the question is asking us to find the value of this entire thing. So, can you solve it? Okay, the very first thing that comes to our mind is that we need to calculate the tangent inverse again and again for every value of n, like substituting n equal to 1, then 2, and so on till 50, and then sum each of these tangents using tangent inverse a plus tangent inverse b formula. But this is definitely a very, very long and tiring process. So instead of jumping into calculations, a smart move is to slow down, look at the pattern inside the fraction, and try to understand how consecutive terms are related to each other because many scary-looking sums actually become easy once we notice a hidden cancellation taking place. Now think about how any cancellation can even happen here, and the only way this is possible is when each tangent inverse term can be rewritten as a difference of two tangent inverse terms. Okay, the very next step is to recall the standard formula for tangent inverse of A minus tangent inverse of B, which tells us that this difference is equal to the tangent inverse of the difference of A and B, divided by 1 plus the product of A and B. Now we compare this result with the given fraction and try to match it carefully. Here comes the trick part. See that both these denominators have 1 in it, and thus somehow we need to make AB as n squared plus n. Take n as common, and we get this as n plus 1 times n, right? Wow, I think we are getting somewhere. Take this a as n plus 1 and this b as n. Then the difference of a and b becomes n plus 1 minus n, or 1, which is nothing but the numerator itself. And hence the tangent inverse of the given fraction can be written as the tangent inverse of n plus 1 minus the tangent inverse of n, which is the exact difference form we were looking for. Now when we put n equal to 1, the term becomes the tangent inverse of 2 minus the tangent inverse of 1. Next, when we put n equal to 2, we get the tangent inverse of 3 minus the tangent inverse of 2. Then for n equal to 3, we get this. If we keep going like this and put n equal to 49, we get the tan inverse of 50 minus the tan inverse of 49. Finally, when we put n equal to 50, we get the tan inverse of 51 minus the tan inverse of 50. So now we can clearly see what is happening. All these terms cancel out, and in the end, the entire long sum reduces to just the tangent inverse of 51 minus the tangent inverse of 1, which makes the final step extremely simple. We will now use the formula for tangent inverse of A minus tangent inverse of B to get this as tangent inverse of 51 minus 1 over 1 plus 51, or tangent inverse of 50 over 52, which simplifies to 25 over 26. So, if we take the tangent of this tangent inverse, both of them cancel each other, and we simply get this value, which is 25 over 26. And that's our final answer. Like, share, and subscribe.